Stevens, the food reporter from the Herald News, and I'm here with Angela in her dorm at William Patterson University in Wayne, New Jersey. Well, today I wanted to show Angela and all of you how you can cook in your dorm with a microwave using just random things you can get from a grocery store. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is gather up everything you'll need. So we have pecans, we have some brown sugar, we have some butter, and then you take an acorn squash, which was really cheap at the grocery store, you cut it in half, like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scoop out the seeds. Okay, let's just keep scooping. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to put two tablespoons of butter in each half. So that's about this much. Okay, so you're just going to spread it around. And then what you do is you sprinkle some brown sugar on it. Because that's what's going to make the sweetness. And it's going to really be great. Okay, so I think we're ready to put it in the microwave. Okay. So we're just going to put that in there for about eight minutes. I know, it seems like a long time, but we really need that to let the sugar sort of dissolve in and it really makes this great flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now while that's in there, we're going to make the oregano crusted tilapia. Sounds great. Okay. So we're going to take the tilapia, take it out of the package, all right, and you put it right in your baking pan, right there. Okay, then you take some butter and you just kind of blob a little bit on. You don't want too much because this is really just going to be for flavor and a little bit of have something for the oregano to stick to. Mm -hmm. Okay, now why don't you sprinkle some oregano on it? Oh, oh how exciting! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the squash is done and you can put in the tilapia. Should I cover it? Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to put that in for two minutes on one side, then we're going to flip it and do two minutes on the other side. Okay, so two minutes on one side. Yep. So now our sloppy is done, so the first thing we're going to do is sprinkle a little bit of this apple cider vinegar. You really don't want a lot, you just need a little bit of a little droplet just for flavor. Okay, we're going to mix that around. And then you take some of the squash that we've already sort of scooped out, and you just kind of arrange that on the side. Okay, and then you take some walnuts, which you happen to have, <laughs> just sort of sprinkle those on a little bit. And then you're done, and you're ready to eat. Yeah. Great. Yay! See, isn't that exciting? This is really good. Really, right? Yeah, I just never thought it could be.